Can you not sleep? She's got stuff on my mind. Of course you have. You know, I'm just thinking. That offer that I've put in on Mulbridge, you think it's a bit cheeky? I mean, I know, obviously, Declan is desperate, but are they desperate enough to drop 50 grand? Debs. It? Three in the morning. I suppose it is a lot bigger for the kids. Well, then the whole place needs redecorating. Come on, Debs, come back to bed. I'm not tired. It's OK to be scared. Who says I'm scared? I do. But remember, we've got policemen outside the door, so if Cameron is anywhere near, he's not getting in. Oh, come on, Pop. How many times has Dad got in somewhere with the police watching? I hate to admit this, but I wish your dad was here now. Oh, so do I. I tried to ring him, but I can't get through. And then you're going to be going on your breaks soon. No, I'm not going anywhere till I know that you're safe. I don't care about me. I'm just terrified that he's going to hurt the kids. Listen to me. You sitting down here, being awake all night, is only going to make you feel worse. At least try and get some sleep. Debs. Come on. Come on. Are the police keeping watch around the clock? Until they've caught him again, yeah. Well, I hope this doesn't change your mind about staying around the village. No, it's just a temporary blip. We'll soon have him back where he belongs. Yeah, let's hope so. You know, maybe the kids are going to be safer staying at my place. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. It'll be me who's coming after. Stop saying that. And if the kids are with you, it's just one less thing to worry about, isn't it? Well, they can stay as long as they need to. Cheers. Sarah, your dad's here for you, babe. How is she taking this? Well, she don't really get what's going on. I don't want to scare her, but she does need to know. Why are policemen outside our door? Do you know what? They're all just out there to make sure we're safe. And you and Jack are going to stay with Daddy for a bit, all right? But I need you to promise me something. If you see Cameron, then you run, OK? You run to me, to Daddy, to anyone, but you get away from him. OK, Stupid things yesterday, but you know what's past is past. Couldn't agree more. And I hope it hasn't spoiled things between us two, and we can still be mates. Yeah, me too. I could do with all the mates I can get right now. Great, because I was hoping to talk to you about Rona. What? Well, I think I should tell her about what happened, but Marlon and Laurel think that I shouldn't. So I was in hoping. In case you just haven't you... realised, Paddy. I was in a relationship with the bloke that turned out to be a serial killer. Now, the only good news was that he was arrested and he'd probably go down for life. Now he's escaped and I had nightmares about him all last night. That is what's on my mind, Paddy, and it has been since the moment I heard. So I really, I really, really don't want to discuss marriage guidance with you right now. Yes, understood, but... No buts, Paddy! Stop whinging on to whoever will listen. Go and see your flipping wife. This is between you and her, and you need to sort it right now. Are you sure you should be in work today? Why? Stopping you from skiving, am I? No, no, I'm just worried about you, that's all. Well, I was doing my own heading at home. Why don't you go to the cafe? Get a couple of coffees and a bun, like, cheer me up a bit. Look, uh, I don't like leaving you on your own. Well, I'm a big girl, Dan. Don't need babysitting. Anyway, I've got some paperwork to do. If you're out of the way, then you'll stop my me, won't you? Mm. You now stop playing games and leave me alone!
Bob's coffees aren't the best, but there's no need to be like that. What's happened? Nothing. Nothing. A fire just freaked myself out. The police are still out there, yeah? Yeah. Do you want me to get someone? No. No, I'm just, um, I'm just, my head's all over the place. I'm fine. Look, well, Debbie, I really think you should be at home. Uh, should I get someone to sit with you? No. No. My mum's there. She'll be there. Uh, come on. I'll walk you back. I get hold of your dad, but I know that he'd want me to come round and see how you were doing. Well, how do you think I'm doing? Well, it must be a bit reassured in having the police outside. I think she'll just sleep a lot easier when her dad's back. You know what? Cameron has killed three times. I'm kind of guessing he'd love me to be number four. I'll get it. Hello. It's Marlon. Hiya. Yeah, that sounds all right. Yeah, why don't we get Dan to collect it then? All right, cheers, Marlon. Just checking if he can still have his car serviced for where are the kids? Don't worry. It's time for another DVD with Amy. I just wanted to let you know they settled in, all right? Well, how's Sarah doing? Scared. I didn't want to frighten her anymore, but she needed to know that she sees him. She needs to stay well away. Sorry to bother you. Something happened. Have you got him? Not yet, but we think we know where he is. Okay. I haven't updated you sooner, but there's been loads of sightings. Plenty of curtain twitches who like to be the centre of attention. But uh, this information seems to be sound. Well, you thought it was safe in a prison van, but it didn't turn out like that, did it? Well, I knew you'd want to be certain, so I had this sent over. It's a printout from a CCTV camera at the ferry port. You can see the date and the time stamped. So there's not much doubt that he's leaving the country. Yeah, well, he told me he'd go on the money. If he had the chance, I should have believed him. So, what happens now, then? Well, we're in contact with the Dutch police and Interpol. As far as we know, he's got limited funds and he doesn't speak the language. So, I'd say his time is running out. They're pulling out, then. We've promised to keep at least one of the officers on duty out here till Cameron's safely back behind bars. Yeah. Well, let's hope that's sooner rather than later, right? In the meantime, there's no reason you and Jay can't go on your holiday. He's moved on, so I shouldn't they? Come on, baby. 